Well, look, it's pretty rough for Sega, right? We can all agree. It's obviously not good. We can all agree it's pretty bad. But can we also not agree that it could have been worse? Yeah, for example, be. they could have had a terabyte of their data encrypted by hackers and sold up for ransomware. So I talked about this very briefly on my stream, and I, it's a very complicated, upsetting situation, particularly for people like us that cover news about video games. Because from a practical, soulless, bordering on nefarious point of view, this is great for news and consumers because Apcom should not pay a ransomware demand to get their shit back, right? Which means people will find out about a bunch of games that they're developing that, you know, they didn't know about before. However, holy shit, that's so terrible for Capcom. It's not just source code to games. It's not just game announcements. It's also personal information of people who Let, work there. Did you, did you read the description of exactly what's in there? I did not. Um, yeah, it's personal information. It's banking Great. information, it's sales Sick. numbers, it's literally everything sensitive and private that you could possibly be worried about beyond just hey, projects and games and leaks. Um, awesome. So just they, these are sarcastic awesomes, by the way. In case so uh, uh, the story is that Capcom, uh, you know, as everyone has been. Um, working online wow. due to the pandemic, Capcom's online security was not that great. It would seem takes everybody's security took a hit. And uh, I mean, we, Watch Dogs got hit by the same thing. Uh, Ubisoft got hit by the uh, nearly identical thing. Oh, dead sec. Uh, and that's yeah, and that's how the Watch Dogs Legion source code came out, and people discovered that the reason why the game runs so terribly is that it appears to have been coded by children. The irony of Watch Dogs getting leaked through hacks is not lost on me. That's kind Once of we're done with the Capcom thing, I actually have a programmer friend of mine that I, I contacted to get a statement on the, on the Watch Dogs shit. That's incredible. Uh, okay, so uh, they got straight up... Uh, Capcom got straight up uh, thrown a fucking, like, old-school Juarez style mm -hmm. ASCII readme that was like, hello Capcom, if you're reading this, it means your network has been penetrated and all your files and data have been encrypted by Ragnar Locker. You have to contact us via live chat immediately to resolve this case and make a deal. Um, warning, do not modify, rename, copy, or move any files or you can damage the encryption and decryption will be impossible. Do not use any third-party public decryption software. You may also damage files. Do not shut down or reset your system. It can damage files. There is only one possible way to back up your files. Contact us via live chat for a special decryption key uh, for your guarantee that we'll decrypt two of your files for free to show you that it works. Don't waste your time. The link to contact us will be deleted. If there's no contact made in the closest time, you'll never restore your data. But if you contact us within two days of getting penetrated, you'll get a very special price. And then they go on to talk about how they've breached a terabyte of total uh, sensitive data, including accounting files, banking statements, budget revenue, uh, confidential tax documents, IP, business info, literally absolutely everything. And then they show so some the screenshots. Obvious, the obvious thing is do not... Negotiate with terrorists. Any money? Well, no, don't negotiate with terrorists. But as ob obvious for all the same reasons you always would. But here it's double obvious. Everyone's still working from home. Your security is still shit. There's absolutely no reason why people couldn't pull the same shit on you two weeks from now if you paid them. Unless or they overhaul their security, but unless, but uh, which but they most don't. assuredly would. Like, there's no question that this is, like, this is the type of security breach that happens that, like, you shut down operations to figure this out, like, straight up. Um, we've, 
whenever security breaches happened at places I've worked in the past, they've been uh, physical. So we've had breaches where someone has uh, walked out of a place with something they should not have. Yeah. Or, you know, and, and in which case it's just a matter of like catching that person. Um, we haven't had anything of like a digital breach variety that I can think of. Uh, or if we have, like I can't really remember. It's been a really long time. But when these things do happen, like you go through every you don't you you stop at no lengths to to make sure your shit is airtight and you 100 percent are axing your security team as well like they have one job and this is a you can't do the job we need someone who can so um this could theoretically you know be stopped if they went through like some kind of crazy procedure after this uh, uh that was more secure but what sucks is you have no guarantees about like I don't know like literally like if they're ransoming this shit, you know, um, who's to say that they don't have copies of it? Who's to say they don't like they could they could be lying about any obvious detail in that ransom message? Thanks for the money, idiots. You know, so like there's even, no you know even starting to play along goes down a path that reaps no rewards. You know, yeah, it's a fucking shit situation. Um, and again, like, you know, fuck the, the game leaks and, and, and news and data, whatever, like people's personal fucking doxed info are Absolutely. at risk. That's, but you know. then, it, then it becomes, what is our, per and this is a genuine question because I'm not sure because it's complicated. Mm -hmm. What is our genuine, um, responsibility as, uh, influencer slash tastemakers to discuss the product leaks that will occur as a result of this because they are also associated with uh straight up crimes you know right and it's like because at some point it will become like biz let's imagine i'll, I'll uh, let's say street fighter 6 is mm -hmm. something that gets leaked as a result mm -hmm. of this right yeah how long do we pretend we don't know what Street Fighter Six is? Right. Well, because it's going to be really weird right away. It is. Uh, here's the thing. You and I both know that we're used to pretending we don't know things a lot of the time. What? What are you talking about? What are you? I, I would never. <laughs> so why? <are> you... <laughs> Especially not about something like Street Fighter Six. I could never pretend to not know about that. So, so this is not uncharted territory in terms of what we discuss publicly and, and, and such. That's not uncharted territory. It, it's not a question of that. Um, what I would say is that um, if there's obviously some stuff that ethically there's no reason for you to talk about things that can affect someone's private life if any of right. that data Obviously. goes in that direction or like linking to go be like hey look at these files over here it also happens to include some addresses but never mind those stuff files look at the cool shit or the art or whatever the fuck that's like imagine imagine if that's there disgusting. was like a like part of the leaks was like as as a result of these leaks and photos that uh, that people on Capcom servers maintained it's been discovered that uh, an employee at Capcom actually in fact has the world's largest penis um that wouldn't be appropriate to discuss because that's private yes even if good for them yes <laughs> like um <laughs> sure uh what did that throw you did that, that throw yeah you for a loop there? yeah just, it's not where i thought it was going but yeah okay yeah it's, uh... um it's, packing a real <laughs> yeah um yeah. a real capsule hmm? yeah 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 think about listen it. uh here's what i would say is i think that other when leaks have occurred in the past um they haven't necessarily they might have included this type of information we or not we don't know and i think in most cases what ends up happening is the information gets dis dis disseminated oh, god i fucking can't speak the information gets spread in such a way across the internet that um, you will see news stories uh, reporting on 
like rumors of this leak or that leak or whatever the case is that uh, eventually just make it a public topic. Um, mm -hmm. And I think that in the past there have been leaks about things that you're, you've known or I've known and then, the, and then like the official announcement hasn't dropped yet, but the public topic occurs. And uh, yeah. at that point, I think it's coverable as a story. Mm -hmm. But again, this is a, uh, yeah, there, there's, there's a, definitely a discussion to have about it. I think once something is being covered in that manner and what you are covering is not uh, anything that we are talking about with the uh, sensitive information, and it's about as much as um, a news site would report on or mm -hmm. a journalist would write about, then you're just discussing the news. Yeah, I guess that makes sense. As long as we don't break any news associated with this uh, criminal nonsense, uh, we're probably in the clear. Because I don't want to reward people for essentially kicking down the door to somebody's computer and just stealing it. That's of course immoral. Not. But But the internet is also not going to universalize that standard and collectively agree yeah. to hold the the the, the door it's, shut on that it's just really annoying because like this isn't how leaks are supposed to happen right the way leaks are supposed to happen is in one of three ways one you're friends with somebody on the dev team and they just tell you and you're an asshole and you just tell everybody two a dev gets drunk at E3 or PAX. Or three, you're chatting with a developer and they deny something in a weird way that actually confirms something. That's how leaks are supposed to happen. For an employee's cousin or nephew films himself playing through oh, some man. shit on a black... Oh, God. And on, 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 a, on a, a, a CRT so that every time it cuts to a black loading screen, you can see his face as he's filming it. And then he goes, oh, man, I can totally see my reflection. Oh, shit. Oh, yeah. <laughs> or, uh, as people pointed out, or oh. another one, which is literally just walk up to a, uh, uh, an actor in a Devil May Cry game and go, hey, is DMC5 happening? And Daniel Southworth goes, yeah, dude, I'm going to play Virgil in it. <laughs> hey, Daniel, why'd you change your Facebook profile photo to the DMC5 logo? No, no reason, bro. Uh, <laughs> yeah so uh yeah yeah there's those you know there's that and this is different from that for sure uh but it, yeah i think i think there's a certain point that you can just go like uh an aspect of this because it gets discussed as just you know news uh, uh people were bringing it up and it's true think about the last of us too think about how that went down and how that was affected and how effectively uh it kind of that was it nuked that game in a way that I've never seen any other game get nuked. Yeah. Um, Created I, an incredible meme with the MS Paint drawings. I just don't think any game of that high budget, of that level of AAA, quadruple A possibly, could. Uh, yeah, like has ever been through that level of a fucking ringer with a leak and 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 then the way it all played out and then the level of like uh, stifling it and just everything was just absolute dog shit. Um, but no matter what happens when the information came out, there was no stopping people from talking about it. Do there you... was repercussions for those who did um, in, in large, in high places, but... For the most part, the internet still discussed. Well, there's no repercussions for me, ha, -ha. Except Sony won't uh, respond to my emails anymore. Um, hey, what are you talking about? They found an extra code. Yeah, but now, now they would. Now they won't. Uh, anyway, <laughs> I, uh, I spoke with somebody. I spoke with a uh, third-party influencer, and I'm like, "Hey, I talked mad shit about Last of Us on my podcast, and then they sent me a code, and I still talk shit about it." And they were like, "Dude, I used to work with Sony. They are never going to talk to you again." I'm like, "Oh, oh, oh oops, oh well, oopsie doodle." Oh well. Uh, I liked Ghost of Tsushima. I thought it was a very fun video game. Yeah, Ghost of Tsushima is great. Um, 
But um, it's funny because I mentioned Mass Effect 3 earlier. And Mass Effect 3 was uh, the victim of the entire script leaking out way ahead of time. Like, like games not even close to done and the whole script leaked out. Um, and one of the reasons why the, the ending is so bad is because the way that the way that those game stories were originally written were they would they would have the main writer write it and then they would have everybody on the team all the leads would sit around and they'd all kind of argue about it right Mm -hmm. um and then the leak happened and then casey hudson grabbed the writer casey hudson was the director and they like disappeared into his office and came out with this is the new ending that didn't leak and that's kind of why the ending is so terrible because it was actually like a last Ooh. second rewrite because you know what's more important wow. okay. you know what's way more important than uh having a good story huh. subverting expectations it's way more important to surprise Jesus than it is Christ. to have a good story so straight up on some Game of Thrones finale slash lost finale level shit. Yeah. Just like keep them guessing. That's all that matters. Yeah, keep them guessing. And mm-hmm. it's like that. Fr- like the 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 first script had problems. The original writer was not super happy with what what like you know how it worked out and they were workshopping it at the time Mm -hmm. so which explains Mm -hmm. why they were so ready to just be like fuck it let's go something totally different Mm -hmm. but anybody that's taken a 10 second glance at that script will tell you what they had before was a hell of a lot better than what they had afterwards uh yeah when you write a good story you write a good story and it's more important that the story remain good than it than you fucking like tanking it just for the sake of shocking everybody when they get there that's that's any fucking anyone competent can tell you that um obviously star wars similar kind of deal right um yep wow that's a stupid reason for things to turn out the way they did huh okay didn't know that uh well I I certainly do hope that I don't I don't like this is one of those things where honestly like I imagine the first move here is Capcom consult consult a digital security firm and yep. just get their take on it because that sounds like I have I have no idea how you even play this you know but there's more details um step 2 start getting some trailers ready Ugh. I suppose. So Activision suppose. is a bunch of stupid, stupid, evil fucks. But when Kotaku leaked the entirety of Modern Warfare 3, including all the levels and a bunch of the shit, they fucking had a info blast the next day. Yeah. And killed that story yeah. by saying instead, get fucking hype for this shit. Mm-hmm. No, get everyone to only. It was the only option. Get everyone together. Get Matt. Get Street Writer. Get all the fucking Capcom people. Put together a uh, Captivate 2020 out of nowhere, and just announce like whatever the fuck ahead of time. You know, just in case. Just in case. You know. Anything goes bad. Because, yeah, heading it off at the pass is, in fact, a nice fuck you for at least the public news. But, um... Well, I'll... you know what you know what you have to do when you're uh, de- dealing with a hostage situation? The hostage taker is unreasonable, right? Shoot the hostage. You gotta shoot the hostage. It's the only, it's the only way. Make a point. It's Kaiser Sose. Not only did we announce all the games... We've put them online right now, live. You can play them early access. They're busted. They're real. They're real fucked. But they're up in but early access right now. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just Kaiser Sose, all of it. 
You know? That'd be crazy. That'd be awesome. I mean, don't you think, like, wouldn't there be some level of sympathy across the industry? Oh, if, absolutely. You know, I'm, if that were to happen, I feel like everyone sure would be like, of, you know, let's super, take it easy on them. Yeah, you know, I think let's, so. Let's, I, I legitimately think so. Trying to make the best out of a garbage situation. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. Um, but yeah, that's a fucking we'll weird, on. weird story happening, you know, and, um, that sucks. That don't fucking do that. So before we get too far away from Ma this, uh, mm -hmm. the, the watchdogs Legion source code got leaked out basically as a direct result of the exact same thing happening to Ubisoft, uh, and Ubisoft correctly did not play ball. And thus the source code for Legion came out. Um, 